goodness. Is Faerun always so dull? Still, at least the company was worth the trip, if not the view. I told you I would, didn't I? I imagine you're wondering how all this came to be. The finer points of divine ascension are beyond mortal comprehension, I'm afraid, but I can provide a rudimentary sequence of events. First, I retrieved the crown of Carsus and reforged it using a series of precise and highly complex netherese incantations. Then, I used it. As you know, the orb within me was the half-formed Carsite Weaver. Magic left incomplete by Carsus' self-destruction. I finished it. Using the crown of Carsus, I turned it into a new form of magic, fused with my being, driven by my purpose. And then I put it to work. As expected, Mistra was unwilling to hand over the reins of the weave, so... I've claimed dominion over another area which I've... passing familiarity. Ambition. I offer them nothing. I inspire them to seize their destinies for themselves. Great as the heights I've reached thus far may be, I've not forgotten my humble origins. In fact, they're central to my doctrine. Those drawn to the Galarian Creed don't merely seek my guidance as the impressive, all-powerful being I've become. Ambition is about beginnings. It's not just about the heights, but the lows that preceded them. I was nothing. A drifting dust moat of a wizard, abandoned by my goddess, my powers lost, my reputation destroyed. And look at me now. I'm their proof. Proof their hopes are not barren wastes, but the loamy soil in which their future achievements flourish. Proof that with ambition, anything is possible. Ao would prefer to let the cosmic dust settle from my unexpected ascension before considering my right to grant my followers such power. I'm sure it'll come around in a millennium or so. And by then, my creed will be something to reckon with. There are already several shrines in my honor scattered across the outer reaches of Thay, and rumors of a very prominent temple under construction in Arm. This is only the beginning. I thought you would be. Now, divine as my company undoubtedly is, I have an eternity to catch up with you. A luxury few others at this party possess. Don't let me deprive them of your company, or mine, for that matter. It's not every day a newborn god shows up to the reunion. <laughs> ah, the material plane. <laughs> I've almost forgotten what it's like. Well, there he is, Gale in all his glory. I hope you're happy, the god of ambition. Have you ever heard anything more ridiculous? Not in the least. And who led him straight to such ridiculous notions, hmm? Who left that crown in the river where any foolish wizard could swim down and pick it up? You were looking out for him. I expected better of you. As do I. As do I. I know there's nothing you could have done to stop him. Not really. Once he'd decided to learn nothing from his mistakes, what use were either of our protests? Perhaps you'd be willing to come meet Gail's mother sometime? She misses him so. And I know it would do her heart a world of good to discuss her son with someone who knew him as he was. 
jolly good. I'll tell Mrs. Dakarios to be expecting you. Oh, she'll be delighted. Things just haven't been the same without himself cluttering up the place. Enjoy your party, dear. I've heard you quite deserve a celebration. <laughs> <laughs>